Hi, Hiram here. A little more than a week ago, I did a boil test on this Brass Light Turbo 2D where uh, I was trying to meet or match the boil times that was in the Brass Light literature using a titanium pot and trying to, I was trying to follow the uh, standards or whatever you want to call it that the Brass Light people did. They were saying that, excuse me, <clears throat> they were saying that this should bring 16 fluid ounces of water to a boil in five minutes. I wasn't able to duplicate that, even though I thought I was following the method that the Brass Light people used. I got a couple of suggestions and comments. Mato Nupai commented that maybe I need to look at the elevation that the Brass Light was tested at. Now, I'm going to assume that the brass light was tested somewhere near their home address, which is uh, Haverton, Pennsylvania. That's not too far from where I live. And I checked through Wikipedia for the altitudes, attitudes, the altitudes. The altitude, according to Wikipedia for Havertown, is 276 feet. Where I live here, the altitude is about 338 feet. So there's only a difference of about 62 feet. If you look at the boiling uh, temps as far as altitude is, at 250 feet, water should boil at 211.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Again, I'll put all this information down below. At 500 feet, double the height, it should come to water should come to a boil in 211. So that's only like a half a degree difference. For 250 feet. According to what I've been able to find, every 500 foot increase should drop the water boil temperature about one degree. So, again, assuming that they didn't go to some mountain somewhere, our altitude should be almost the same. A couple of other comments that I got from people was that I didn't follow the instructions that you get with the stove. I'll put a link, sorry about that. I'll put a link down below to where you can read this for yourself. So that's what I'm going to try to do today is see if I can't duplicate that closer. Although I'm not that far off with what I did. Basically what the instructions are saying <clears throat> is that you got to choose a fireproof level cooking surface. You unfold your uh, reflector, put that on the bottom. You make sure that all the air holes on here are wide open, full open. See, if you turn this, the holes get blocked and it lowers the air flow, which then uh, turns this into a simmer. But you just got to make sure that everything is wide open. This isn't rotating too easy. So like that. Now, they don't all line up, but that's about as far as they can be open. You place a windscreen around this. Again, I'll put a link down below so that you can read this for yourself. I'm not going to use a windscreen because there's no wind here if I just shut up. Uh, let's see. Loosen the dispenser spout by rotating. They have a, a special container that they use for pouring out the methanol or alcohol. I'm just going to, I've measured it out. I'm going to use this. Now there's two different methods. There's a warm weather or normal weather and a cold weather starting. In this test, I'm going to follow the normal weather, warm weather, where you just put your alcohol in here, and then you squirt some alcohol across the top of this, and press, put your pot on top, and then light it. Cold weather, you put a, an amount of alcohol in this pan on the bottom. I don't know, can you see it there? There's a pan along here that you would put alcohol. They also consider that... <clears throat> for cooking in cold weather or where you need to light it fast for some reason. Hmm, thinking about it, maybe that's what they did. They lit it fast. But uh, I'm going to try the normal weather, see what happens, and if there's an interest, I'll do it with the cold weather. So let me get my water prepped. I've already got my alcohol going. I've got a little bit of alcohol in this to spread along the top. And then we'll try a test. So I'll be right back.
Okay, so I have my water prepped. It's at 60 degrees, two cups of water. I'm using the Vargo Titanium 0.9 liter pot again. I have 30 milliliters of methanol, pure methanol, measured out here. In the instructions, they said this is one fluid ounce. In their instructions, they say you can do it with 0.7 fluid ounce. So I'm giving them a little bit of a benefit of the doubt here. Pour this into the stove. Just like so. Then a little bit on the top. This is about, I guess, one milliliter. Just squirt it on the top of this. Like so. So the pot goes on. And let's see what happens when we light this. So there's that lit. Okay, I'll even hold off the timer. Okay, it looks like the center's lit. Oh, it's already gone up four degrees. But let's see where this goes from here. We're now at two minutes into the test. The temperature's up to 93 degrees Fahrenheit. Still not very fast. Um, I don't know. So let's see where it goes from here. Here we have 210, 211, 212 in 6 minutes 51 seconds. Okay, so two cups of water starting at 60 degrees, room temperature 71 degrees Fahrenheit, humidity 51. Uh, came to a boil in 6 minutes 51 seconds. In the last test it took 6 minutes 57 seconds, so this is what a whole six minutes faster. Still can't seem to duplicate that five minutes. Now, as I was sitting here waiting for this to come to a boil, you think watching it's fun, you should try sitting here through it. Uh, I was reading their instructions of what they did for their test, and they said room temperature was. 70 degrees elevation was 80 feet but even 80 feet versus my elevation I don't think would make that much of a difference I, obviously they must not have done it anywhere in, in uh, Havertown or Havertown because they say it was 80 feet for at altitude but they also started their water from 50 degrees Fahrenheit that's 10 degrees centigrade well, I don't know. Now one of the things is, if you remember back, this is a much bigger flame than the, where it was at the two minute point. Um, they've got a whole lot of alcohol here. Last time it burned totally for 11 minutes 11 seconds. If it comes to a boil in a little less than six, that means I have like five minutes to play around with because they don't talk about what time it ran out, but rather what time the water came to a boil. Maybe they let this thing burn for four or five minutes before they put the pot on. Now I can see I'm going to have somebody ask for that. But, uh, I don't know. Let's let this go and see when it runs out this time. Okay, there we're going. Going, gone at, let's say, 10 minutes, 30 seconds. Okay, so... That time run out was 10 minutes 30 seconds before it was 11 minutes 11 seconds. So, I don't know, I still can't duplicate that 5 minute test even with warmer water and about the same temperature for a room. Like I said uh, during the test after it came to a boil, maybe I need to let this run for 4 minutes plus as this runs the flames do get higher but I don't know that's kinda like wasting alcohol to just let it sit here burning without the pot on top now I know the you know it's not a big thing to get your water to boil the fastest and all that it's just that I'm trying to duplicate what they said they got I'm just as happy with six minutes five seconds or six minutes fifty one seconds as long as it gets the water to a boil and that again was with one with one fluid ounce thirty milliliters 
of methanol, which is one of the accepted fuels that they say. Ethanol is another one, but I don't have any source of ethanol around here. They don't uh, they don't suggest you using isopropyl alcohol in this though. Okay, so I hope that helps those that asked for this. I mean, I don't know how much more I can get the brass light people mad at me, but it seems to be what people are requesting. So I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.